Hi everyone, Chunderboy12 here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on Windows Movie Maker, and there will be part videos from time to time about Movie Maker, because as all you guys know, I love Windows Movie Maker. It's the best software that I've ever used, and for to have a software for free, and that's already pre-installed to your computer, it's the best thing that you can do, right? That you can use. So, I really recommend everyone to use free software that is pre installed to your computer, including Windows Move Maker. Um, today, I'm going to be covering about the history of Windows Move Maker and how Windows Move Maker really got started. Move Maker really got started in the year 2000 when they got Windows Move Maker 1.0 all set up. It was for Windows Me. Uh, if you guys don't know what Windows Me is, Windows Me is a Windows where uh, it it was pretty much pre-installed with every computer out there. Uh, there was Windows Me, Windows 2000, Windows XP, but uh, now in technologies they really invent their their Windows. They really have like a whole upgrade of Windows. Now today you can get Windows 7, Windows Vista, and it's there. It's gonna keep growing like that. So, the first Windows Move Maker was in 2000 when they invented Move Maker 1.0. And then they upgraded their server and they upgraded their Movie Maker. And the Movie Maker 1.1 came along for XP. XP was popular, way popular back then. It was it used to be used in schools, uh, offices, and pretty much anything that they had a computer in. Another one was Movie Maker 2.0. That was a little bit more upgraded. They had more transitions, more side effects to their to their editing software. So they were able to upgrade it a little bit more. So they had a 2.0 for XP. Another one for XP. I mean, XP was popular. I mean, today there's hardly any computers that, that are built in with XP. There's mostly just Vista. And now we're going to come up to the 2.1, the one I used pretty much every day when I was living with my grandparents. Uh, 2.1 was pretty much the only thing that was offered to me since we only had an XP, a Dell computer. I mentioned that in many, many of my videos, but uh, uh, for this one, it's a big history of Windows Movie Maker, so I want you guys to really take the time and just listen and just to go research all this information because it's very important to know what really happened to Movie Maker from back then and from today. Now, we're going to come up to in 2004, where Windows Move Maker was totally upgraded. It came up to Windows Move Maker 2.5. People really don't don't really know if they really gonna was gonna invent that, but they did for sure. And that was for Windows XP Media Center Edition. That was for 2005. So from 2000 to 2005, the whole Windows Move Maker got upgraded big time. From 1.0, where they hardly had any transition, and the effects that they have today on Windows Move Maker for Vista, from Windows Me, it's totally different. So Move Maker 2.5 was a big, uh, was a big, big thing for uh, for computers that had XP on it. And the next one, the most ever popular one, I think it's popular. I know one of my YouTubers, one of my uh, one of my great friends on YouTube, Cigar Dad Eleven, has this Movie Maker, but he has Windows Movie Maker 2.6. And what 2.6 is really, really about is I'm going to explain to you guys right now. If you have a Vista computer, okay, for instance, you have you had an XP computer, but you converted your computer to Vista. So that means you installed Vista on your computer that was already pre-installed XP on it. That is not compatible with 6.0. It's not working. So they really suggest you guys to have 2.6. It's a version for Vista only. And that's pretty much good, you know, if you guys really want a, a Vista version and that you guys can't have it, 2.6 is a really a good uh, your version that you guys would like to check it out and just to try it out. I've tried it, you know, I had a Vista, I have a Vista computer, but I've tried it and 
you know, to be quite honest, I'd rather have my 6.0. But for people that can't have 6.0, 2.6 could be good for them. I mean, it still has the same transition as 6.0 has, and still has the finest upgrading uh, software that anyone could have, you know. But it's free. And I take every Microsoft or Windows softwares that are for free, I take them all, you know, because it's, you know, the best thing that they anyone can offer. So that was pretty much when the release dates of every upgraded Windows Move Maker. So now I'm going to go to details about uh, Windows Move Maker and uh, how it really got started today for Windows 7. Windows Move Maker is a basic video creating editing software, including in Microsoft Windows. It contains features as, as effects, transition, title, credits, and audio tracks. Timeline, narrate, narration, and auto movie. New effects and transition can be made and existing one can be modified with XML, XML code. Okay, That means if you guys would like to make a transition or a side effect, you can make one or uh, create an existing one with an XML code. Pretty simple. I've, did, I've done it so many times. Uh, there is one, an, an XML code for a blue and green screen for Windows Move Maker. People never thought they could that could happen, but it does. So I'm going to make another video on blue screen and green screen actually. Windows Move Maker is also a basic audio track editing program. It can op it can apply basic effects to audio tracks such as fade in and fade out. The audio tracks can be exported into form of sound file instead of a video file. So then, if you guys would like to make a WM, a WMA file for music, uh, you can actually use it for window. You can use it and make an audio track in Windows Movie Maker with it. So that's one thing I like about uh, Movie Maker as well. Okay, Windows Me was the first version to include Windows Movie Maker. Updated versions are including with XP, XP Media Center Edition 2005, and Windows XP started, Starter Edition of Windows Move Maker has abandoned after the release of Windows Vista. It replace a replacement Windows Live Movie Maker will be included with the Windows Live Essentials, a free download from Windows Live. However, Microsoft has started that Windows Live Movie Maker will not have the same features as Windows Movie Maker. So there is a Windows Live Movie Maker for Windows 7. And I'll be, I'll be talking about that a little bit more in another video. So, this was a little bit of history with Movie Maker that I really want to share with you guys. Take the time and go check this site out because it's, it's well worth it to actually learn about Movie Maker. So, this was about it. I'll be making more videos on Movie Maker. And don't forget, I do have a playlist on my channel about all my videos that I have ever done about Windows Movie Maker. Like I said, it's free. Why not use it? You know, why go buy the expensive so editing softwares where you're just editing a video? If you want to make a few bucks or you're thinking of becoming a, a video producer, then okay, go ahead buy those big fancy editing softwares. But if you're just here to have some fun, why buy a big fancy program that that it's going to be hard for you to learn? Movie Maker takes maybe five, ten minutes, maybe a half an hour, maybe a whole day to learn. Something that Sony Vegas won't offer you. So my name is Channel Boy Twelve. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and just stay tuned for more videos on Windows Movie Maker. Thanks for watching Coco Show.